What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. RetroWatch is one of my favorite programs to use for retro game solution because it can emulate all the available retro system in the world. RetroWatch is a free application that lets you play old console games on your Android device. It's like one stop shop for playing games from different systems like Nintendo, Sega, Sony and more than 15 consoles. It's an all-in-one emulation solution for Android. In this video we will show you how to set up RetroWatch on an Android phone with a beginning guide and massive information. Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button. The very first thing we are going to do is download the RetroWatch application on our Android phone. That's why I opened the Google Play Store because it's available on Google Play Store. Go to the search bar and type RetroWatch. In the search results, you can see two different versions of RetroWatch. One is Plus and another one is Standard. We are going to download the Standard version because it's stable. Go ahead and click on the download button. It's just a 200 megabyte application so it will download within a minute once the download is finished launch the application RetroWatch will ask your permission to grant access to read internal storage just click on ok button you can see this on the main screen of RetroWatch here is lots of options and features are available I will go through all the options and show you the quick and easy ways to get started the very first step is to load codes which is actually the console we would like to play. In the load code menu, select to download a code. There are a lot of different codes available for a lot of different systems. Each code represents an emulator for a system. Some systems have multiple codes. If you are wondering which codes you should download, don't worry, it doesn't matter how many codes you have downloaded. My suggestion is you should try different codes for different systems and see which one works better for your device. I'm going to download the Nintendo 3DS, Citra and Nintendo GameCube. If you just tap on the core, it will download within a second and after downloading the core, you can see hashtag beside the core. Now let's go to the main screen. Our next step is to load content, which means game rooms. Click on the following option, then navigate to the folder where you have stored game rooms. Guys, you can see I have already downloaded some game rooms according to the downloaded core Nintendo 3DS, Citra and Nintendo GameCube. If you only have one core installed, after clicking on a game, it will run immediately. If you installed multiple cores, then you will have the option to select the core you would like to use to run the game. Another way you can run games is by scanning which will help you to open different consoles at the same time. Let's come down to the bottom and click on the three lines then click on import then scan directory. Navigate to the folder where your games are stored and then click on scan this directory. You can see it's scanning my internal storage and finding rooms. After scanning a note will be displaying the scanning of the directory finished. You can see all the consoles are showing that rooms in your internal storage. I have some Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo GameCube games. If I click on Nintendo 3DS, it's going to show me the game list. Same thing for the Nintendo GameCube. Now let's open a game. Guys, you can see RetroWatch is running Nintendo 3DS games. If you would like to go into landscape mode, then what you need to do is flip your phone. If it's not rotating this, then make sure you have turned on the auto rotation option. If you are using touch screen buttons, you want to change the deep pad to a joystick then click on this little circle right here then that will change it to a joystick if you would like to first forward the game you can find your first forward button over here 
if you would like to get to the quick menu just click on the little retro watch logo here we have a button of options we have the option to restart to the beginning of the game you can take a screenshot you can save a state and you can load game state you have options where you can change your button of layout you can enter cheat codes and shaders there are just a ton of useful options to optimize our emulator we are going ahead and select an on screen layout for those of you who want to change the on screen touch controls if you are going to be using a bluetooth controller or usb controller with your phone then you have to turn off the on screen touch buttons so go back to the quick menu and click on on screen overlay on the display overlay you need to turn this off the great things about retro watch is the most of the course will automatically set up up your buttons so you don't need even have to set your controller just a plug and play guys retro watch is worth trying it's a powerful emulator that lets you play classic games from various consoles on your android device with retro watch you can relive the nostalgia of this iconic gaming system on your modern device if you have any queries or suggestions you can join our discord server i will happy to help you no more today see you and the next video take care